I give credit on this one to my bro Chuck Sutton. He told me this really simple, practical Ableton tip that I thought was dope. So check this out. I'm going to get a MIDI file from DTK9. And we're going to throw an addictive keys on this. So say we don't have any effects on the track. Okay, so we have nothing on the track, but we just played some MIDI. We just dragged in some MIDI for addictive keys. If you want to automate the volume or something like that, what you would do is either you would right click here and do show automation, or like I told you, you might want to add a utility. So you have to hit command F, look for the utility, hit it, enter. So now you have your access to gain and balance and everything else. What Chuck Sutton did that I thought was pretty cool is in order to get a utility without having to put a utility on the track, all you do is click on the instrument and hit command G. Then you can go to your chain and guys, you have access to volume and panning right here. So you don't have to use your channel. You can literally click show automation and start automating your volume and panning. I know that's pretty simple, but it's a good one. Do you guys know about that? I mean, I've been using Ableton over a decade and I've never thought to do that. I've never once like automated chain like I would a utility. The shortcut is Command G. PC, it might be Control G. So you group it and just use the chain. Simple tip. That's it. Shout out to Chuck Sutton.